In this video, we will learn how can we create the cross tabulation if we have both variable are uh, quantitative uh, categorical variable. So uh, you need to first open the uh, data uh, the file data set for categorical variable, and on the first page you should see two variables. So the first variable is about the rating of the hotel, and the second the variable is the brand of the hotel. So what we are doing now is we want to see the relationship between the rating and the hotel brand, and by using the cross tabulation. So first. Uh, similar as uh, two quantitative variable, we should select insert and then choose pivot table. And then we can start to select our data set to fill in the uh, data range. So, so you need to make sure when you select the data, you need to always include the label for each column. So if you want to ask me, uh, if, you, if you want to ask me when you have, you have no label, the label for the column, what you should do. So you need to first label your two columns before you select the data. And then you can click OK. So without changing the area here, your table will be located on this uh, spreadsheet. And then you can click OK. So now we will have the pivot the table area. So the first, you will, if you look at the, uh, on this area called the pivot table field on the top, and we have the two variables we just selected, and that's the name for the two variables. And on the down area, bottom area, so they said it's drag field between area below. So actually, we will create our cross tabulation by filling these three areas. So these three areas. So first, let's um, pay look deep, uh, closer to these three areas. So uh, they have columns, rows, and values. So actually, here is what will be your column variable and what will be your row variable and what will be the value you will put in your cross tabulation so uh, now we have two variable rating and a hotel brand so then that is what we will do try to picturing if you want to draw the cross tabulation how will it look like so you will have the column you will have the row for uh, and each column uh, the column will for one variable and the row will for another variable so the similar idea so what we'll do is we will drag one variable to column and one variable to rows. And so if there is no requirement on the question, you can drag either one. So let's see, let's drag the rating to columns. So now what you will find on the this area, and you're starting to create the uh, row column label for your across tabulations. So now let's fill in the rows. So let's drag another variable, let's say hotel brand, to rows. So now you create this, um, the basic frame for the cross tabulation. You have row label and the column label. And as I mentioned, you need to have a good habit. So once you choose a row label and the column label, you should change the name for of the row label to the to the certain name for the variable. So obviously we know the row label is for the hotel brand. So let's first choose the row label, then go back to this area and uh, delete the name here and uh, type in hotel brand. And then now you do the same thing for the column labels. So choose column labels and uh, change it to rating. So now we finish building the frame for the cross tabulation. The next thing we will do is we will fill, fill in the number. So instead of going back to counting the number, what we will do is we try to fill in this area called values. You can drag either rating or hotel to this area, but not both. So we, for instance, we drag rating here. So that is the cross tabulation. And uh, the total observation we have here 649 is our total sample size. So you need to get familiar with uh, how to read a cross tabulation. So for instance, in this cross tabulation, we have two hotels from best Western hotels and the rating as average. So that is how you cre create the cross tabulation and for two categorical variables.